hello, hello, hello out there. How's everybody doing? Is everybody straight conservative in New York? Christopher Wright. Here we present you with another one of my momentous walk and talk videos. What's today's walk and talk going to be about? It's going to be about our president going over to India where they had a rally held for him. Uh, the name of the rally was Damasta Trump, which is Welcome Trump. And it is technically the largest recorded uh, rally that Trump has ever held and it was held for, for him over in the country of India. Uh, the Indian people welcomed him with open arms. Uh, Prime Minister Modi uh, greeted the president and when he went to the rally at the stadium, I believe it was the largest cricket stadium uh, in, in the world and it holds over 100,000 people and they said it was filled up, filled up to the max and the first person that they visited was they went to um, um, Gandhi's home uh, over in India first before they did anything and they visit the house you know where Gandhi lived you know the um, you know the guy who was a peacemaker back in Indian history you know a big figure when it comes to the Indian people and they said that um, you know they showed like different photos and art that was in the home and they had um, pictures of uh, monkeys as well, which pretty much they said represents hear no evil, see no, see no evil. You know, that uh, whole saying that, that the, the picture with the holding over the eyes and the ears and all and, and speak no evil when you know, holding them over the mouth and that good stuff. So it was very, you know, historical moment. And then they tra took the motorcade over to the stadium, the one I mentioned earlier, the largest cricket stadium in the world. And they said that there was people lined up on the side of the roads. Um, you know, saying, you know, support the president, support Prime Minister Modi. Um, so, you know, there's a lot of people there that were giving a lot of credit to the president. Um, and they also had, they said, protesters that were, you know, miles away, good distance away. And what they were protesting was the Citizen Amendment Act. And what that pretty much was, was the country of India passed an amendment where they said that uh, they give people a faster path to citizenship if they're dealing with um, a country that's going through religious turmoil and the person has to escape because, you know, if they're a certain religion, they could be killed or are in jail or anything like that. So they come to other countries to kind of escape that. And there's so they pass it for all the groups except for Muslim groups. And as you guys know, if you know your history uh, and geography, India and Pakistan has been having issues for for a very, very long time. So I think a large part of that was not really do with the religion, but just the fact that they're dealing with a largely Islamic country. And, you know, they don't, they just wanna keep their people protected and safe the best way they can. And, you know, so they're doing what they can on their end. And kind of kind of like, um, you know, uh, similar to a travel ban, but not all the way because of the travel ban, it wasn't all Muslims, it was just, particular countries that we were having issues with. So they did a, an act um, when it came to the religious release of certain citizens of their country um, that, you know, upset quite a few people over there. And, you know, they're dealing with the protests as well, but the pro Trump and pro Modi uh, support was far greater than that. And, you know, it seemed like a very historical moment, you know, Trump went to the Taj Mahal, um, you know, cause when he even went to the rally, I didn't mention this, they were donning white caps that said, you know, um, you know, that had Trump's name on it, that had Prime Minister Modi's name on it. So they were showing a lot of support. Hold one second, folks. They were showing a lot of support for, you know, all the, for both Prime Minister of, of India and our president. So, I mean, overall, I mean, and I, I tell people all the time, if you compare it to, if you look at, say, pre, uh, President Obama, uh, former President Obama, when he, his last trip was over to China, before he left office and they made him get off the back of Air Force One. You know, they didn't give him no welcome committee or nothing like that. It was just disrespectful. And you see how other countries disrespected us under his presidency. But with Trump, you see the love for you know, Hong Kong, with the, the amount of love he's getting as president. You see it as well in other countries like India with this rally with over 100,000 people. Trump's biggest rally was in technically another country. Uh, you see it even in Iran, um, with everything that happened there. Recently with Trump protecting the embassy, and after that, you saw the people, citizens of their country showing support for not only Israel, but the United States of America when he put the flags on, when he stepped on either of the flags. 
So other countries respect and show support for our current president. And you didn't see that respect when Obama was in office because to me about Obama was, you know, when it came to uh, national security was a horrible pr president and other countries recognize that. And they pretty much were showing back then him as president in the United States of America that you guys are no longer the dominant nation and we're not fearing you anymore. So we're gonna talk the way you wanna talk and treat your leaders the way you wanna treat them. And you see under President Trump how much respect we receive now and how much of a turnout we're having, not just in this country, that's building up under the Trump brand. But you see around the whole entire world, he has support. And he's having support because he he's a great leader, as simple as that. And Prime Minister Modi um, speaks a lot of the similar um, mentality when it comes to political mentality and economic mentality as our president. He wants a stronger econ economy in India, job growth. And you see the Indian people have a lot of love for him. So they have a lot of love for that kind of message in our country. It's like we have to love that similar message in our country. So we both recognize it. And you, like I said, you see the turnout, man. And this is a historical moment. And I think it's gonna benefit Trump in so many different ways. Um, you know, it's gonna be great uh, when it comes to an election time comes around and you know, it, they're gonna be just another, you know, something to add to the video montage charges of the ads saying, hey, look, this president's been around the world. He has support from all around the world. So, you know, you guys are trying to be negative. If you just do your research and look at the facts, you must be doing a great job if he has all this support all from all around the world. So I'm glad he got out there and made this happen and, you know, really just showed support for one of our allies, India, and showed the Indian people, because he mentioned in his speech that, you know, he traveled 8,000 miles pretty much to say, you know, India, we have your back. We support what you guys are doing. We're your allies. We'll always protect the Indian people. So that's just going to go a long way, man. And when it comes to the president and his message uh, in the upcoming election. So that's why I pretty much want to speak on today, guys, which is speaking about the, today's, you know, huge Trump rally over in India. And, you know, I got to say, you got to see the Taj Mahal. I didn't mention that. Oh, so I got to see the Taj Mahal over there, the real Taj Mahal. And, it, you know, he's very excited to see it. And he said, what a beautiful, you know, what a beautiful place this is. And as you guys know, he had the Taj Mahal in Vegas, the Taj Mahal Casino. So Trump had a lot of respect for that, um, you know, the architecture, I'm sure, of the Taj Mahal. So I'm glad he got to go see that and pay credit where credit's due and all that good stuff. So like always, oh, and he also, when he went to Gandhi's house, he, um, you know, took his shoes off and donned a prayer robe that they have. So he just showed respect and was, you know, did, did a, a so far a terrific job in my opinion, when it came to this, you know, rally they had over him from over in India. So I hope you guys enjoy the content like always. And God bless everybody out there listening. Thank you for your time. And God bless the United States of America. Peace out.